Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Do you believe in God? If you do, you're part of a group that's getting smaller these days. While the majority of Americans still hold a belief in God, the overall trend is pointing in a different direction. Are we following the path of many post-Christian nations in Western Europe? A recent eye-opening survey by Gallup suggests that the percentage of Americans who believe in God has hit an all-time low, revealing a significant decline. The percentages of Americans who believe in each of five religious entities, God, angels, heaven, hell and the devil, have edged downward by 3 to 5 percentage points since 2016. Still, majorities believe in each, ranging from a high of 74% believing in God, to lows of 59% for hell, and 58% for the devil. About two-thirds each believe in angels about 69%, and heaven about 67%. 74% might sound like a considerable number, but it's worth mentioning that it encompasses folks who believe in any kind of God, not just a specific one. This means it includes individuals from diverse religious backgrounds. However, the real deal is that the overall percentage of Americans who believe in God has dropped significantly by a staggering 16 points since 2001. Gallup has used this framework to measure belief in these spiritual entities five times since 2001, and the May 1-24, 2023, Cole finds that each is at its lowest point. Compared with 2001, belief in God and heaven is down the most, 16 points each, while belief in hell has fallen 12 points, and the devil and angels are down 10 points each. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Church attendance has been on a steady decline over the years too. In fact, according to another Gallup survey, it's dropped by around 10 percentage points since 2012. U.S. church attendance has shown a small but noticeable decline, compared with what it was before the CV-19 crisis. In the four years before the crisis, 2016 through 2019, an average of 34% of U.S. adults said they had attended church, synagogue, mosque or temple in the past seven days. From 2020 to the present, the average has been 30%, including a 31% reading in a May 1-24 to survey. The recent church attendance levels are about 10 percentage points lower than what Gallup measured in 2012 and most prior years. The American people are increasingly losing faith in organized religion, and it certainly doesn't help that almost every day there is a story in the news about some member of the clergy that has committed some sort of horrible crime. For example, just today I came across a story about an executive pastor that stole $130,000 from his own church. A New Hampshire executive pastor has been sentenced to 18 months in prison for stealing around $130,000 from his church to pay off gambling debts and make purchases. Gregory Neal, of Barrington, 45 years old, was sentenced in federal court Wednesday and ordered to pay back the Journey Baptist Church and the insurance company that covered a portion of the losses. Sadly, many Americans are also losing faith in the traditional Christian values that this nation was founded upon. According to one recent poll, approximately two out of every five young adults in the U.S. believe that marriage is an outdated tradition. Are there wedding bells in your future? If you're young and in love, the answer is, probably not. A new survey finds that two in five young adults think marriage is an outdated tradition. 
Moreover, a staggering 85% don't think you need to get married to have a fulfilling and committed relationship. Interestingly, the poll, commissioned by the Thriving Center of Psychology, found that more women, about 52%, than men, about 41%, have this view of marriage. So much for saying yes to the dress. If we keep heading down this path, our society is in serious trouble. On the other hand, the numbers for those pushing a different cultural agenda are only getting stronger. A significant percentage of our national leaders have graduated from Ivy League schools, and these schools' demographics show where America is heading. We are rapidly moving away from the principles our founders once established, becoming the polar opposite of what they intended. If our country ever needed a great awakening, it is now. Because the clock is definitely ticking. Many Americans act like there won't be any consequences, but the truth is, none of us know when our time will be up. In recent years, I've witnessed the sudden loss of people I deeply cared about, which reminds me that life is unpredictable. It's only a matter of time before our entire society experiences a sudden shock that changes everything in an instant. Just this week, I was alarmed to read that NASA had no idea about a large asteroid that nearly hit Earth until it had already passed by us. This serves as a reminder that we need to be vigilant and prepared for unexpected events that could reshape our lives. An asteroid called 2023 NT1 reached as close as around 62,000 miles from Earth, or about a quarter the distance between Earth and the Moon, on July 13. But it wasn't until two days after its close approach that NASA scientists detected it because it was coming from the direction of the Sun and was obscured by light. 2023 NT1, which is now moving away from Earth at a speed of about 25,000 miles per hour, is up to 200 feet in diameter, bigger than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Did you hear about this in the news? Most people did not. Obviously, I don't believe in the existence of asteroids outside space at all. What I'm really concerned about is the possibility of some shady folks pulling the strings behind the scenes and targeting specific areas, then blaming it all on a supposed asteroid impact. That's what really scares me. This particular thing may not be big enough to kill millions of people, but so-called scientists tell us that it is just a matter of time before such a giant space rock does come along. When that day arrives, what will you do? Will you cry out to God? Perhaps you will, but more Americans than ever don't want anything to do with him, and that is extremely unfortunate. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.